Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene. Welcome to another Bible review. I am going through every single Bible in my entire um, possession and primarily for the reason of doing so before I get rid of them. And also I will be reviewing Bibles that come to me to be given away to you guys in a giveaway so that you guys can have a complete review and make a sound decision on what Bible is best for you. Here we have the ESV Single Column Legacy Bible, True Tone Chestnut, English Standard Bible. Now, at first glance, I got really, really excited, right? Because I thought this was the ESV Journaling Bible. And I was going to say, yay! But it's not journaling. However, let me show you. This is, look at this. This is a really pretty, decent Bible. Um, This Bible... um. For the simplistic person, like when you just need a getaway from all the other stuff, this Bible is perfect. Like so that you can really focus and study on God's word, especially because it's single column. And this is the legacy Bible. Let me, before I open it, that's the spine there. It's a crossway Bible. This is called True Tone. And this is the ISBN number in case you're interested. It comes with one ribbon and it's also the same color the gold gilding now this is why i said hold a thought with journaling or note taking now bible journaling to the extent of art and stuff i don't know but if you're just a note taking person behold you still have margins and you have just enough margins for that person who say i like a little notes not a lot of notes i like to write a little bit not a lot or you just want an opportunity space just just in case, then this is the Bible for you. It has just enough space for you to write out um, things on the side. And obviously, you guys should know that worst case scenario, which is what I love, sticky notes. Love sticky notes. But anyway, excuse the markings on the gilding. It was packed with crayons, so the crayons did get on the side. However, hopefully, you know, I know for me, I'm not particular like that and i mean if you gave me the choice obviously no crayons but this doesn't bother me and this would not stop me from enjoying god's word so just a heads up for anybody who looks and see this in a giveaway but anyway this was fresh out the box like i said the ribbon hasn't even been moved let me see if i can find this placing where it is one second you guys crisp white pages um the font looks like nine to me, which a lot of people say that's not big enough. But me personally, I just feel like we've come a long ways from the, the what was it, eight and 7.5. We've come a long ways from that, my friend. Nine is becoming the new norm, which is a good thing because you only can go up from there. But anyway. This is the ribbon. I'm not going to move it because, like I said, this is a crisp, clean Bible. Um, fresh. As you can see, the pages are even still kind of stuck together. I'm not even going to try to bend it that much. But, like I said, this is a little more on the simpler side. I recommend this one for someone who is easily distracted. Like I said, if I could go back in time, honestly, this would have been an ideal Bible for me because as much as I love Bible journaling and love the art and love the lines and stuff, they can be a bit of a distraction and overwhelming, but I do like note taking. So this Bible still would be able to fit my needs because I can write in the margin. And then if I need additional space, there's always sticky notes, which I absolutely love. This Bible is, um, excuse me, it's a pretty standard size Bible. It's not too big and it's not too small. This is definitely church friendly, um, travel friendly, like carrying it in and out the home from bedroom, room, desk, whatever you have you. But my main thing I want to stress is, this is a normal size Bible to take out the home. I know a lot of people want to know that. So this will make a great church Bible. That's my hand over the Bible. I don't know the exact um, length and width of that. I'm not that type of person. I'm a little dysfunctional and, and random. But this is the ISBN number in case you're interested. And in case you want to know. And that's the color called True Tone. But yeah, I love it. I like it. Um, if I was to feed into my hoarding, uh, emotions and feelings, I would definitely keep this on the shelf. Um, 
yeah. This matter of fact, this will definitely be my travel bag, but I'll probably keep this one in the car to make sure it goes out with me. Great size. This will be a great present for a young man or young woman or a man. Um, people hate for me to say this, but these colors to me are technically more so on the masculine side. Men typically go for the bland Bibles and we like the cute, girly, flower floor, designer print Bibles. So this will be ideal for a man if you're trying to win it for a man that you know. Um, but yeah, stay on the lookout for these particular Bibles. Um, and I'm not, I do not give out the information on which Bible is going to come next. I just post, but yeah, keep your eyes and ears out. If you see a review on these particular Bibles, Lord willing, these reviews should all be posted before the next giveaway. So there you go. Love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.